Hello lovely people! Welcome to or welcome back to my channel. If you don't know me, my name is Hannah. I am a vintage clothing seller. I sell my clothes on Depop and on HolyThrift.com, both of which will be linked down below. And also, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Now with that out of the way, let's talk about today's video concept. I had the idea to style different aesthetics for different occasions using a randomizer wheel. How it's going to work is there's going to be two wheels I will be spinning. One wheel is going to tell me which aesthetic I'm going to be choosing the outfit around. And the second wheel is going to be telling me for which occasion which circumstance I will be wearing the outfit for. And I decided to choose fall themed occasions because I live in Florida. If you have ever been to the lovely state of Florida during the fall season, you may have noticed that fall doesn't exist here. So I'm trying to channel those vibes today because I miss the New England fall when I lived in Rhode Island. So let's get into it, shall we? I'm just gonna read you guys the occasion options that I've come up with. We have Dancing to Thriller at the Club. It's an iconic song for Halloween. Everybody listens to Thriller. Cute pumpkin picking dates. Ethereal frolic in an autumn forest. Courting a handsome scarecrow. Telling spooky bonfire stories with the girlies. Losing my sanity lost in a corn maze. Halloween costume party. And sipping a pumpkin spice latte at Starbucks. So that's what we're working with today. For the aesthetics, we are working with Whimsigoth, McBling, Cyber Y2K, Mall Goth, Rockstar Girlfriend, Coquette, Barbie Core, Fairy Core, Cottage Core, and Mermaid Core. Lots of core going on. You can thank TikTok for that. <laughs> of course, I wanted to have as many options as possible when styling these outfits. So I basically chose the aesthetics based on what sort of things I have in both my inventory and in my personal wardrobe because I'm going to be pulling from both for the outfits today. Are we ready to spin the wheels or what? <laughs> oh my gosh, y'all, this app is annoying. There's so many pop-up ads, but anyway, let's just... You don't have to worry about those. I'll cut them out of the video. Spinning now. How do I do it? Oh, I just press it. I thought I had to like... Whimsigoth. Oh, that's perfect for fall. Okay, this will be easy. I love Whimsigoth. I have so much stuff to work with for that. For the occasion, let's find out where I'm going with this Whimsigoth outfit. Telling spooky bonfire stories. Okay, this is fun. I can do this. Let's freaking go, y'all. Okay, so right off the bat, my first thought is that I need to pick out a dress with some sort of spooky vibes going on to enhance the spookiness of my bonfire story. So let's see what I can pull from my inventory. Okay, so I have this silk midi length dress and I feel like it's very whimsigoth vibes but I was kind of thinking more of a bell sleeve. So I've also pulled this top that I have because it's velvet and it has those witchy flared sleeves to amp up the spooky factor. So let's try this on and see if they look good together layered. Okay, you know what? You know what? I actually like where this is going. I think it's giving, I think it's working. Here's what I'm thinking. At the bonfire, I'm going to be stuffing my face with s'mores, no doubt. So it might be nice to have something to snatch my waist a little bit. I'm thinking either a corset or a vest. So let me see what I've got. I have this vintage trip corset belt and it's like faux leather, but I think this is a little bit too mall gothy and I don't really want to go that edgy with it or that modern. I want it to be more like Stevie Nicks. So maybe not on this one, even though it's a sick piece. I have this vest as well, but maybe it's the shade of blue. I don't know. I don't know. It's, it's okay. This is the vest that I wore in my last video. And I think, I think it's doing my figure a little bit more favors than the last one. So, and it's a little bit darker. So I think this one works better. I think it's kind of weird having this stick through. So I wonder if I should put the top over the dress and then put on the vest. 
Maybe I'll try that. We'll see how it looks. So here's where we have arrived thus far. One problem was fixed, but another was created because now this sticks out at the bottom. So from here, I see two options. We can either put a belt right here so that it's not so awkward, or we can roll it up into the vest. So let's try the belt thing first. Um, what do we think? Is this belt giving? I really like this belt. So I'm a little bit biased, but I don't know. I don't know if it's giving me a good vibe. Let's try one more belt and then I'm gonna roll it up. <laughs> There's something very medieval about this belt with this outfit. Like I look like I'm going to the Ren Fair, which I mean, you know you've done your Whimsy Goth outfit correctly if you look like you're going to the Ren Fair, but I'm still gonna try it without the belt because you know, curiosity compels me. And also if I'm sitting at the bonfire, isn't this gonna like bunch up in a weird way? And then whenever I stand, I'm gonna have to like fix it. That doesn't sound fun. I guess some things really are that simple. I have rolled it up and now I'm much happier with it. Let us grab some shoes and accessories. Wow, you can really tell that I live in Florida by the fact that I am now sweating my tushy off in this outfit. But anyway, it's time to get back to the wheel for another outfit prompt. I feel as though I should be more scared this time, but I am a little bit less scared because this one was pretty easy. But that makes me think the next one's gonna be hard. Let's find out. First, we will do the aesthetic. Are we ready? Let's go. Rockstar Girlfriend. Okay, that's a fun one. I like it. I'm here for it. Now, for the second occasion. Where am I going dressed in my Rockstar Girlfriend fit? Let's find out. A Halloween costume party. Okay, so am I actually gonna be dressed as a Rockstar's girlfriend? The first person I thought of when I thought of like famous Rockstar girlfriends was Courtney Love. So maybe we're doing like a Courtney Love inspired rock star girlfriend costume fit. I think we can make that happen. Let's see what I can come up with. Immediately I found a really great inspiration photo we can work with. So she's got like this fur coat, this little sheer black number with lace detailing and fishnets and knee high boots. In case we need a secondary source of inspiration, I also do really like this white satin slip outfit, but I don't think it really fits the Rockstar Girlfriend theme as well as the other outfit. Okay, so I've layered this vintage Victoria's Secret slip dress, which I'm gonna keep because I feel like it is giving the vibe of what she's wearing over this tank top that has leopard fur here, but I don't like how it looks together. So I'm going to workshop that. I wanted this to tie in the leopard fur because I don't have a coat that is leopard fur. So we're going to have to see what else we can do. I'm going with a nude brassiere instead so that we can still have that sort of sheer effect she had happening. Um, sorry, mom. <laughs> wow. I really look like a vixen of the night at the moment. Um, but this is like a Penny Lane coat. Is it still giving Courtney love? I don't know. I have this fur trim denim jacket and I think because this is brown, it's giving a little bit more of that leopard look. So this is what we're gonna go with and I'm gonna start putting on accessories. We have arrived at the final outfit. I, I don't know, I think this one was a little bit of a fail. Do I think that Courtney Love would wear this outfit? She might've. Is Courtney Love's aesthetic just like Vixen of the Night? Because I'm beginning to think that that is in fact the case. If I showed up to a Halloween party in this outfit, nobody would know that I'm Courtney Love. I mean, if you're gonna wear an outfit like this, 
or um i mean it's really it's not much of an outfit let's be honest you know i mean if you're just gonna go out in some lingerie then uh, a halloween party i suppose is the place to do it so <laughs> maybe it was a success what do you guys think comment down below was this a success just for funsies i wanted to give it a go at her other outfit i do like this better but i don't think it fits the like rockstar girlfriend vibe as much like i said earlier and also i don't have a tiara i must say that one was rather difficult hopefully the wheel will be a little bit more merciful to me this time let's find out mall goth this thing is feeling edgy today i have a lot of clothes for mall goth i'm actually gonna be selling my whole collection i'm just procrastinating on listing it because i'm afraid that i'm gonna wish i didn't sell the stuff if i'm being honest Courting a handsome scarecrow. <laughs> okay, let's do it. I guess this scarecrow likes e-girls. <laughs> Don't we all? <laughs> oh, well, hello there, Mr. Scarecrow. I noticed you noticing me from across the way, but wait, I have to go home and put on my Malgoth outfit because I don't look cool enough yet. So if you didn't know, which I'm sure you did because you do have a brain, unlike some people, a scarecrow is put in a farm with the intention of scaring birds and other living animals from disturbing the crops. So it makes sense that he would want his girlfriend to also be scary. I really want to get the message across that I am scary enough for the scarecrow. So I've pulled a few graphic tees and I'm trying to decide which one is the scariest. So. We have the devil here. The devil is pretty scary. A lot of people are scared of the devil. I'm not gonna be speaking on that on my YouTube channel, what my opinion on that is. Another option is this spider web tee with an eye. That's kind of scary. I don't think that the scarecrow would be very afraid of spider web since he probably has some growing on himself. So uh, maybe not the best option. This one could really be a winner. So this t-shirt says, Miss Rot in Caskets. So, uh, you know, directly alluding to death. I think death is pretty scary. A lot of people are afraid of rotting in a casket. So I think this is probably my scariest t-shirt and therefore this will be what I'm going to go with. And I have already pulled plaid skirts for each of the tees because when I was doing the mall goth thing, I was wearing these bad boys every day and I have one in every color of the rainbow. So the one that I'll be wearing is the purple one. So here's the base of the outfit. I think that the plaid skirt is a great idea because plaid will be a nice familiar pattern to Mr. Scarecrow. I'm sure that he wears plenty of plaid himself and I'm sure that he's used to seeing the farmer in plaid. So it'll be a nice like homey comfort. <laughs> Okay, you guys, this is my Malga fit. My purse says cereal shopper so that he knows what I'm about. I added the arm warmers because I feel like they were giving the fit more of those fall vibes. And I've got on the fishnets again, these big ass demonias. If you didn't know, platforms were originally designed to help people avoid stepping on cow pies. So when I'm in the field, these are gonna be very serviceable i'm sure and i've got this like eye girl choker on which implies that i may or may not have rabies and for you very fallish girlies i also wanted to include this big jacket as an option which i will never be wearing in florida but if this hypothetical field is somewhere cold which I will travel wherever I have to, to meet the scarecrow in question. I really like this outfit. I think that the scarecrow is going to fall head over heels. This is going to be like proposal on the first date material with this fit.
Well, that was very fun. I did not think that I would be wearing black lipstick and bigger eyeliner wings by the end of this video, but here we are. If you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a comment, like the video, subscribe. Let me know what you think. Give me some feedback because I had a lot of fun filming this and I would love to do a part two or even make a series of this on my channel. So. Let me know your thoughts. For anyone who might be interested, all of the clothes that I was wearing in this video are going to be for sale. They're not up listed yet, but if you want them, let me know. We have arrived at the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. If you watch all the way through, you are a rock star and I appreciate you. I hope to see you next time. Bye.